Hey everyone, this is Shreyas and welcome back to another video. So today the Pixel 6 launched and we had the final rollout of Android 12 for Pixel phones as of today. I covered the beta versions in detail whenever they released. So you can definitely check it out. I will make sure to leave a link over here so that you know about all the developments that happened. But today we are going to focus and look at the top Android features which launched with the Pixel. Some are exclusive to Pixel which I will try to mention as on when the video goes on but some are Android wide and should roll out to all Android phones getting Android 12 with their own customized skins or UI. If you appreciate this work and you are looking forward to Android 12 and other videos related to the pixels definitely make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and if you like this video make sure to drop a like as well. So with that said this is Shreyas and let's tech that out. Alright, so according to me, there are five major categories in which Android 12 makes huge changes. The first one is going to be security and privacy. So let's start with the privacy dashboard. Now this is a segregation of all the permissions uh, used by each app. You can see the moment which it was used by which app and what all permissions. It is very well segregated and there is a detailed pie chart of the same as well. And the best part is this is not limited to only third party apps. Even Google's own apps will register over here, be it the stock camera app or any the stock Google app itself. The next is the mic and camera access toggles. Now these can be found in the notification pane in your quick toggles. You have to add it manually. You can check out the betas for how they work. It will block out all apps, including Google's own first party apps, be it their own record order be it their camera app etc everything this is also complemented by two more things which is a notification for when your camera and mic are accessed individually or at the same time so you can detect which all apps are accessing the camera real time when it does in the background or on the foreground if you are aware of it another important thing which has been introduced is the approximate location setting now i appreciate it because things like the weather app do not require your precise location to give you the relevant data or information and that's where this particular setting comes in and you can toggle it by going into the individual apps permission manager so that's great now the next thing is notifications now you have three sections of notifications priority default and silent first of all all these three notifications will be segregated individually in your notification panel so you know which notifications to look for in the beginning second of all for priority it can be done on a contact and per app basis for example over here you can see that my messages app with my particular contact is set as a priority this will not only give you a particular icon but also show the contact image on the top of the notification pane so that you are aware that a certain notification from your priority contact has come and silent notifications are nicely stacked this especially is useful for social media apps like instagram and twitter and they are stacked very well now the third most important category according to me are the features which are exclusive to android 12 and few of them are exclusive to stock Android which is the pixel experience now finally finally Google has added scrolling screenshots on Android and this is something that a lot of other skins had already been doing for years to you and I think the implementation is pretty good next is a very important one according to me uh, which is system wide search you can just search for a particular app contact function and relative contextual stuff right from the search button on the app drawer now this is something really good i think this could expand and be really helpful the next thing is one-handed mode now i think for big devices upcoming even the pixel 5a 5g and the pixel 6 series are bigger devices and one-handed mode is a very welcome change the next thing which probably is uh, unique to the stock android experience is the gaming dashboard so the gaming dashboard is a nice way to get shortcut toggles for FPS recording live stream and uploading live stream doing game recording and also setting performance profiles this does dive into a few performance profiles which you can set per game which could be useful as per your battery or your need as per the game now another very handy feature which I liked about stock Android got even more refined and better this time you from the recent apps menu you can share links directly drag and drop on your recent contacts not just that you can do the same with pictures if they are appearing so over here you can really see that it works really seamlessly 
especially the link sharing feature is something that I personally appreciate even the pictures one because you don't have to take screenshots they don't get saved to your gallery take up space and you don't have to maintain that so I feel this is a really great way of sharing content when you want to with all of your contacts and the last and the biggest noticeable changes for you guys will be the UI of course material U is a thing that got introduced this time it has been implemented across a wide range of things it changes the accent color it changes app colors it changes widget colors as well so this has been adapted very differently both in light and dark mode i think this is really beautiful and it works very seamlessly even in the beta stage it was working very well and for the first time because of material u i have been using colored wallpapers and not just true dark uh, amoled wallpapers with a hint of color material u and its implementations throughout the ui throughout the apps is really great i really feel this time at least google apps and the ui over here is finally very cohesive and feels a part of the same system it feels like the teams really coordinated this time uh, in making this a reality and i really appreciate it is the most refreshing change but i can completely understand that a lot of people will not appreciate this as well but overall the ui feels really great this time you can just change your wallpaper to change everything and give your phone a fresh new look in terms of all the major apps you use at least the google apps as of now i really hope more apps adopt it and even the widgets and with that there are themed icons this time so this also is going to be dependent on the accent color of the material you uh, theme you select so as of now these themed icons are limited to google stock apps some google stock apps also do not have it as of now but most of the google stock apps do have this themed icon you can disable it if you want and the other refreshing change with the ui are the widgets now widgets i feel were way more refreshing find and better uh, on iOS when introduced last time and this time Google has stepped up according to me and have made really refreshing changes at least in stock Android so that's really what I appreciate you can see so many changes in the widgets over here be it from the shape the adaptiveness the dynamic widgets which are like the turntable clock as you can see here now another thing to note is that the widget colors are dependent on the background you place the widget on so if you're placing it on a blue element of of your wallpaper then it will turn blue and so on and so forth with other colors so this is something you should keep in mind because it won't adapt to the exact material you color scheme you pick in the wallpaper section now another ui element i really appreciate are the lock screen shortcuts unfortunately they are not customizable to any uh, other shortcuts as of now but you can enable the payment shortcut and the device manager shortcut as of now both of these i use a lot like the payment shortcut especially and even you also have the shortcuts for these in your quick toggles you can add them up but the lock screen makes it really accessible and easy for you to use it the next thing i liked about the ui is the animations now there are a few animations which are very evident and really smoother now than refined even on a 60 hertz display of my pixel 4a these looks really good first of all if you go to the home the animation shrinks into the icons if the icon is on the home screen so that's something appreciated same happens with stock widgets so if you open the clock or the weather widget from the widget itself and you scroll up to go home it will shrink the app will shrink into the widget itself which looks really nice i will try to represent it in the b-rolls as much as possible same goes with uh, the over scrolling uh, jelly action i'm not sure what exactly it's called but you can see here when you go to the end of any menu that's how it looks so these refined animations is something that really makes your ui experience a lot better and i'm really loving it and even on the beta stages they worked really well so that's been it about the overview of android 12 and my top features i plan to make a few more android 12 related videos and also google apps their ui changes and google assistant specific changes in the future so definitely if you want to see those type of contents then subscribe to the channel and turn on notification because that will make sure that the video reaches you on time when i launch them share this with people who are getting new pixels or are going to get android 12 or even other skins which are going to get android 12 and there are aosp related features which they can be accustomed to prior to getting them themselves so that's been it for this particular video thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next video Thank you.